How far technology has come, from drawings in the dirt, an idea, to a world famous oval where man and machine work in unison to create the greatest spectacle in racing. The folks we need to operate those race cars are not the guys that are driving them, they're pointing them, but it's the technology behind it. It's the students who have been educated that are now engineers and mechanics who really understand computers and how to make these cars run. Three of the founding fathers of the Indianapolis Motor Speedway, James Allison, Frank Wheeler, and Carl Fisher, all made their imprint on the land where Marion University stands today. Innovative leaders, much like the sisters of Oldenburg, who saw promise in this fertile soil. All leaders with vision. I think that most of us uh, that went to college realize as we get older that somebody provided a platform for us to stand on to get where we got. and so. I look at it as, as paying backwards, not paying forward, but paying backwards for the, for the support that I got. Meet Michael Simmons, a leader who made his mark on the business world by first understanding how and why things are successful. The, the things that I was involved with starting way back in 1957 have always been things that were based on logic and based on capabilities and a lot of people get good ideas, but then they don't have the capability to implement them. The Simmons Family Tech Innovation Endowment was created to drive Marion University to stay out front when it comes to technology and to ensure that students here have the necessary tools to advance, learn, and develop as leaders. It was a new day for Marion when we were able to open the new data center thanks to our generous benefactors. Uh, one of them being Michael Simmons. When ideas and convictions and concerns are formed in bricks and mortar and tinted glass, it becomes a lot more real. Success isn't just about what you accomplish in your life, it's about what you inspire others to do. And that is the mission of our department. We really, really want to inspire professors, faculty, students, and staff to go beyond uh, the technology that they're current, currently using in their teaching and learning. Our students, when they graduate, are going to go out into occupations where they're going to be expected to use technology because that's just the way things are done today. And it doesn't matter if they're going into education or going into finance or going into nursing or what they go into, there's going to be applications of technology. Support our students and give them the background that they need we need a much higher level of technology integration into the classroom. And so much of what we do is about technology. The race cars you see on track are not only about technology in the automobile, but we are, we're testing computer technology, um, communication technology through the cars to the pit lane, to, through computers. I mean, it, it, is, it is basically, our racing is basically one rolling computer. What we're trying to do is establish it that you can donate to this fund, either matched or unmatched. You can be one of a match or if you want, if you want to make a large donation. And that, that the funding is used only for research and development. I would hope that there are others in Marion's alumni group and other citizens of the world would see this as an avant-garde way to stay current and be a leader, to make sure that the students coming here are going to have access to the latest technology. The future is now. The next step is yours. Every great institution has had someone somewhere along the way that pushed it in one direction or another.